Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Good day. This is the Valder Beebe Show broadcasting live in Dallas, Texas. Who do I have in the studio with me? This is Dr. Sherry Ingraham. Dr. Ingraham, thank you so very much. And I understand that you and I get to talk about vitamin C day. Yes, my favorite subject. Okay, what do we need to know about vitamin C? Because most of us think we're drinking orange juice and doing just fine. Right. So we tell people vitamin C is widely recognized for warding off colds, but it's also clinically proven to be a powerhouse in other areas of health as well. Studies have shown that vitamin C may reduce blood pressure and potentially lower the risk of heart disease. And topically, we now know that vitamin C keeps your skin healthy too by protecting it from oxidative damage caused by the daily exposure to UVA, UVB sunlight, which there's a lot of in Dallas, heat and pollution. So adding vitamin C to your beauty regimen can brighten your skin, reduce inflammation and promote the healthy collagen production we all need. Vitamin C brightens just about any healthcare routine, and SkinCeuticals is really the first brand to maximize the benefits of vitamin C in their beauty products. Years ago, they pioneered parameters for the effective delivery of vitamin C to the skin, and they want everyone to know about how important it is to incorporate it into your daily skincare routine. Their antioxidant formulations are really the gold standard for correcting the visible signs of aging and preventing future skin damage. So they've marked April 4th the day to commemorate vitamin C. Okay, that sounds good. But how do we know how much we need? That's a great question. So, you know, orally, there are certain amounts we look for when we're eating fruits, vegetables, and drinks, but not all vitamin C serums are created equally. There's a few things consumers should look for to know they're getting the best possible vitamin C product. Firstly, look for L-ascorbic acid as the active ingredient. This is a highly potent form of pure vitamin C that's known for its superior antioxidant benefits. You should also look for serums where vitamin C is combined with other antioxidants like vitamin E and ferulic acid. This combination of ingredients works synergistically, which increases their anti-aging effects. Also, look for vitamin C products with a pure concentration between 10 to 15%. There's so many different serums for different skin types and concerns, and vitamin C is is really a crucial part of a routine to protect against environmental elements and free radicals. You can use it every day just like you would your sunscreen. Typically, I'll recommend that patients put it on under their makeup in the morning, under their sunscreen, really the first thing you put on your skin in the morning before you go outside. I'll take this Facebook post. Uh, the poster says that her doctor is measuring her vitamin D level. Can he do the same with her vitamin C level? That's a good question. Vitamin C is not something we would typically check on a routine blood test, but you can tell that someone is healthy and that they are getting enough vitamin C by the way their skin looks and the way their body functions because vitamin C is really crucial to collagen in your skin as well as in your vessels and other areas of your body. So really we tell patients, you know, you can take upwards to about 2,000 milligrams of vitamin C orally, but you don't need to do that. Just having half a lemon squeezed in your water you can get enough vitamin C for the day, but also applying vitamin C as pure L-ascorbic acid onto your skin, you know you're getting the right amount. Remember, when you take things internally, you're not necessarily making them bioavailable to get to the skin. So the best way to make sure it's getting on your skin and you're protecting your skin from the environment is applying it directly to the skin in serum form. The next Facebook poster would like to know, is this something that the doctor should recommend or should they just basically start a routine? Your doctor does not need to recommend this. I would start a routine. It really is common medical knowledge now that applying vitamin C directly to the skin helps prevent damage that we get from light, from the environment, and really from pollution now, which there is a lot of in all major cities. So I tell patients, if you can apply a vitamin C serum to your skin every day, you're really getting an environmental shield against the environment. All right. I want to thank Ms. Cruz from Hawaii for making that post for us and love reaching around the world for great questions. Doctor, one thing you want us to know about vitamin C before I let you go? Vitamin C is a crucial part of any health routine. Start by adding it daily to your skincare regimen. Put it on your skin before you put your sunscreen on and put your best face forward for the day.
Any place online you want to send my audience? Skinceuticals.com, or you can follow us on hashtag Vitamin C Day on social media. All right, we'll be celebrating Vitamin C Day. We got to put that on our list, Doctor. You know, they got a lot of days in the month. There's a lot Thank of days. Thank you so days. much for thanks for being my guest on the Valder BB Show. Thank you for having me. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.